In one of our other videos, we showed you how you can send invoices and other transactions via email. Now I'd like to show you how you can customize the text in those emails to personalize them to your company and your situation. A lot of companies like using these customizable templates to advertise special deals, to have, like if they have different customer groups that need different types of information or get addressed in different ways, um, you can use these templates to customize the text to fit your needs. So let me show you how you can create your own templates. If you go into Preferences, down in the Send Forms, you'll need access to the Company Preferences tab. And you can see that now at 2014, you can have multiple different templates, although only one can be active at a time. In this case, our active one is the basic invoice because that's the only template we have. To add a new one, I can click Add Template, and it starts with the basic invoice, and then you can modify it from there. So the basic invoice has a subject invoice number from my company, and then says, Dear Customer, your invoice transaction number for, and the total is attached, and so on and so forth. Now, everything that's in brackets, transaction number, name first last, even the num up at the top, those are fields inside of the QuickBooks transaction that will be fed into the invoice at the time that it's created, or sorry, in the email at the time that it's created. So to add your own fields from QuickBooks into your email, you can access them by going down to the Insert Field drop-down box in the lower right corner of the screen. So let's say here I want to change this so that not only is the transaction number and total showing up, but I let them know when the invoice is due. So I can say this invoice is due by, and then I insert the due date field in my sentence. And so that's all it takes really to add a field into your email. The templates are really easy to use, but they're somewhat limited to just text. There's no HTML, no images, you, you know, there's, there's those limitations. But for a quick and easy personalized email, this can work really well. Like I said, if you have special deals, you know, keep in mind that our anniversary is coming up ask us how to save 10% on your next purchase. Something like that. So that's how you can customize it to, to certain situations. And I can say that the, this is my anniversary email and save that. And now, every year around my anniversary, I can set that as my default. For right now, I'm not going to. I'll set this one back as my default. So you can change the default as you go. Also, if you have two different groups that need different information, you can, you know, batch print your invoices or batch email your invoices, set one default, batch send that one, set another default, batch send that one, and in that way, you can use these email templates to give a personalized experience to your customers and help them get the relevant information you need without hand creating the email every single time.